Hey everyone, how are you doing? I am Clara and I'm back with another review, this time of uh, another Exit the Game, game um, Lord of the Rings Shadows of the Middle Earth. So this just came out in my local game store last week and so this is relatively quick turnaround for me of getting it and playing it and reviewing it. Um, so this is going to be a spoiler free review. I will do a separate video where I talk about what I thought about the puzzles and spoilery stuff. So that's separate. Uh, but this one is just a spoiler free version. So very much an overview. And um, I'm also, uh, I've also picked up the Nightfall Manor, which came out at the same time. So I'm going to be doing a separate review on that one as well. Uh, but yes, what did I think of Exit, uh, the Lord of the Rings IP Shadows over Middle Earth? So I'm going to go straight in and say I enjoyed it. So this is a level two out of five in terms of complexity. And so what I've come to find with these sort of games is that two out of five, we can usually do them pretty much without help. Or maybe they'll just be one thing that you need to look at a card. They're not too difficult, not too taxing, could do it fairly quickly. Um, so the question is, do we enjoy it? Do we enjoy the puzzles that are there? Because sometimes there's frustrating puzzles and sometimes there's good ones. And I'll be honest for this everything all the puzzles i enjoyed them some of them i really enjoyed so there was nothing brand new uh no that's not true there was one thing that i'd not seen before and that was great and there was another thing that was done slightly differently which i really enjoyed and i did enjoy the puzzles in this one um but with these exit games you gotta you know be of the understanding that you've probably seen most of these puzzles in some form before this one still like say had something brand new but uh, I think, you know, when you're playing a board game, you get to know the mechanisms and then you, you figure out how to use those mechanisms. And I think that's how you have to treat the exit games. The first few times you play the exit games or maybe the unlock or other series, you know, it's brand new. And so everything is new and you sort of worry about losing that. Um, varnish that shine but actually if you think well no you've got an army of different tools to solve these things and you put them together then you know you can really enjoy these games and so that's what I do I just sit back and enjoy these games and I actually don't mind if it's not too difficult because did I have fun using those mechanisms and in this case yes now the main thing about this one is the IP let's talk IP so this, um, I think that this story, I really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed how this works. But I think that it's probably something that you'll get more out of if you know the books or the films and the story of Lord of the Rings. Because the story in this sits alongside the main story of Lord of the Rings. Uh, whether it's the books, whether it's the films. And it sits alongside it and accompanies it. And I thought that was really, really cleverly done and really smartly done and really good fun. Um, so this has got a lot more text than the others. There's a lot of story going on, but the way it worked was brilliant. But again, I think that you probably get, I think you can enjoy this um, without knowing the IP, but you'll probably sort of skip through the reading a little bit. But if you're a fan of the books, then or the movies, then I think you'll get a lot more out of this. And I really, really enjoyed it for that reason. And it's the first time we've had that with these exit games. And it was just, it added a whole new dimension that I really enjoyed. So that was, that was just brilliant. That was just, that was just gravy. You know, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, now I will say that there was uh, two minor little tarnished things, uh, and they are minor. Uh, one of them, without spoiling it, there's one puzzle that you do something with, but then you have to sort of um, reverse engineer for something else, and, and, and that was a bit of a surprise. Normally they're quite, it's not quite as, uh, it was slightly clunky uh, the way that you did something and then you had to do something else. Um, and normally these games feel a lot smoother than that. Um, I, 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 I I probably shouldn't really be talking about it because I can't do anything, say anything without spoiling it, but it was just a little niggle for me. Um, the one thing, there was another little niggle, and that was that it said that the, uh, the story was in the helper app, you know, so reading out the story and then the music and the timer. Uh, when we looked at it, so uh, for me, in my local game store, this one and Nightfall Manor came out at the same time. Nightfall Manor was in the app, but I didn't see the Lord of the Rings one in the app. Um, 
and I couldn't find it. So, and I, I did search. So I think that maybe the helper app wasn't actually out just yet. Uh, so presumably that'll be coming. But uh, yeah, it was just a little bit weird that it did say, oh yeah, helper app, we've got this story and, and, and it wasn't there. So uh, just something to be aware of, I think, more than anything else. It didn't really change too much. You know, we just used the classic uh, timer and then put YouTube on with the music from the movies. So, you know, we made it very thematic and we changed the music depending on where we were. So there you go. So yes, um, exit, Lord of the Rings, Shadows of the Middle Earth. Uh, fantastic use of IP, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed this one, really good fun, highly recommend it. I think you could enjoy it if you don't know the IP, if you do like the IP, then whoo, it's going to be ace. And so uh, that's it, hopefully you like that, uh, maybe a thumbs up, and until next time, take it and bye!